Salut everyone, in this video I'm going to show you why you are certainly sleeping on one of the best Linux kernel features out there. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. What I want to mention with you first is the name of the feature. The feature is sched underscore ext scheduler. And this Linux kernel feature enables implementing kernel thread scheduler in the user space. And this is like kind of like insane. I already covered it in one of my previous videos. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, but this feature should be normally available on your favorite distro. I just made a tutorial for Cache OS because it's so easy to switch those schedulers on the fly on Cache OS with all the tools they provide. But there is a high chance that with your own distro right now, if you are not running Cache OS, you will be able to do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to put also a link to the GitHub repo for you to document yourself. Obviously, I won't be able to do a, a full tutorial for all the distro out there. But if you want to try it, I would say it's relatively easy depending on the distro you are in. And the main value added towards this feature is the fact that you can switch scheduler on the fly without rebooting and just test how efficient all of those specific schedulers are depending on the application you are using on your PC. And this feature has been available since the kernel 6.12. So it's not a whole feature, but everybody like should have access to it now. And the good news is that this feature is not like a, a bunch of uh, neck bird. Yeah, like someone called me like that on stream. But anyways, like uh, it's not a bunch of neck uh, beard, <laughs> not bird. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, um, uh, well. So, the, so this feature is is actually like mainstream. You have like big company like Meta and Google, which are like fully committed of using this feature and see the value added in uh, this specific software uh, within the kernel. So one of the examples that kind of like pop out on their GitHub page is the fact that you can compile a kernel and run Terraria without any stutter. And me, I, I did try like many times uh, with my 9800X3D through a full stream to see if switching kernel will actually bring a value added for my setup. And I could not produce it. But there is the thing, I have my buddy Cardiac who made the test on his own PC and sent me the screenshot of his result. And you will see it's pretty astonishing. So he did test two games. I'm going to start with Black Myth Wukong because this one is, in my opinion, like the one that tell like the best story related to the switch of scheduler with SCADX. Look at it. In this benchmark, uh, he's running like a 4900HX. So this is a pretty beefy laptop he has. Uh, and this is like, I believe, like th the best CPU for laptop from Intel from the last generation. Like this thing is a beast. And he's also running within the laptop a 1490. And if you look at the screen here, you can see that during the benchmark, there were a lot of stutter. And he was telling me, like, on our uh, conversation, that he could feel them even in game. Even if he had, like, 83 FPS, he didn't feel, like, th the smoothness that he was supposed to get. And you can see here, the, the, the frame time graph is all over the place. And here he's using the little application, we're going to talk about it after, which is a GUI running in Cache OS where you can just switch the scheduler on the fly. And you can see here, the scheduler is actually disabled. The sched underscore ext sex scheduler is disabled. And that's why he has all those micro stutter. Now what he did, and this is another benchmark, he moved to the SCADX LAVG, which is the one I will really recommend you guys to try because from all the feedback I have from my community and all my friends, the LAVG scheduler apparently is the bomb when it comes to gaming. It depends on your CPU again, 
but to really like show you the difference in terms of like performance it's not really the average fps here that's going to tell you the story it's going to be again the graph showing the frame time and here you can see there is still little dip but there is like way way less it's actually incredible and what he was saying to me is that the overall experience is way way better there is still stutter which are in my opinion like uh, sometimes related to the game itself but you can see like it's a night and day situation here and i do believe like a lot of us linux users are just simply like sleeping on this feature within the linux kernel so as you can see this is literally night and day it is not perfect but you would really appreciate the difference by just running a little like line of command or just switching within the GUI of Cache OS to get from a really like stuttery experience to something which feels like way better. Now, here is the kicker. If you move to another game, you might be in a position where the scheduler itself is not good enough. And you're going to be in the position where activating for example, like the SCX, like LAVG in Cyberpunk might play against you. So again, it's the same PC, the same friend that send me like those a specific benchmark. And I think it's really interesting because it can show you how in certain case scenario, like switching scheduler is great, but in other case scenario, uh, it's, it's actually like counterproductive. So here, what he did, he did run Cyberpunk. And he did the benchmark with ray tracing medium here. And he's having a, a pretty incredible uh, uh, result there for a laptop. 74.78 FPS average for this bench without having the scheduler enabled. And now this is a result with the scheduler enabled. And you can see here that the results are like really, really underwhelming compared to what it was and um, you know like obviously like my, my buddy is always asking himself like the right question there he kind of like figured out what was happening with this specific scheduler on his pc so here you can see he moved from 74 fps to 53 fps which is a huge decrease in terms of average and you can also see that the minimum fps went down like drastically and so it kind of like transformed like his gameplay from playable to unplayable which kind of sucks now if you if we dig like deeper what happened is like while running the benchmark he did open a b-top to check what was happening on this cpu and you can see there that some of his threads are actually not even working in cyberpunk and this game is really focused on multi-threading. The scheduler, for whatever reason, like decided to just avoid them. And I, I do understand that sometime like staying on one specific like CCX could be bringing an uplift in terms of performance. But in this specific game, it wouldn't work. And just to show you, you can see there that the GPU is underutilized. But if you look at the same screenshot, while having the scheduler LAVD disabled, you will notice that all the threads are actually running and now the GPU is pushed to the max. And this is the kicker. Depending on the application you are running, you might find a real interest in testing and try it the SCX scheduler because it could really bring a lot of performance uplift uh, a lot of like, I would say like a better experience overall versus using the basic scheduler included in the kernel. So now you kind of understand where I'm going, right? Because the scheduler can be set in user land, what you could do is have a specific command that will switch to the right scheduler before launching a game. So here I won't cover like that in detail, but like switching scheduler at this level is not hard at all because you can see here like starting a scheduler from the cache os wiki is just like sudo ses x underscore rusty and boom you switch like there is nothing else to do right so you could have like this command being launched 
before launching a game on Steam or Heroic and then just disabling it after the game is done. It's literally like nothing to do and, and you, could, you could literally do that without any problem. So now like what would be my ultimate recommendation when it comes to choosing the right SCX scheduler? Uh, I, don't, I don't have an answer for you guys because first it's going to depend on your hardware. Second, it's going to depend on the application you run. Myself, what I've done, I made a full stream. I'm going to also put the link in the description below where I did test the scheduler in Black Myth Wukong. You can download the benchmark for free on Steam of Black Myth Wukong. And I did test all the scheduler. It's super easy, especially if you are running Cache OS. You just uh, install uh, the, the package. Again, I made a video about it. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Don't hesitate to go watch it. Uh, just go on their wiki too if you want. You, you just like switch scheduler before launching the game, launch a benchmark and see how it behaves. Maybe it's going to do nothing like me. With my 9800X 3D, the choice of scheduler on user space doesn't change anything. Like this CPU is just pushing frame no matter what. Now you might be in the same position as my buddy Cardiac, the one who provided the screenshot there. And you might see a huge difference. And so then what I would recommend is just create a little script that will launch the correct scheduler, the one that benefit you the most for the game that benefited also the most. So in this case and in my body case, well, you will just like launch the specific like SCX dash LAVD before uh, launching like Black Me Fu Kong and you will just like stop it after playing the game. That's all. And what I would do, I would add the command uh, within Steam directly as a launch option. Game over. And for the game that does not require it, well, you just have to do nothing. But really like what I think you should do right now is do some tests and see if, how it works on your actual machine. So yeah, let me know, like actually in the comment below, because I'm really curious, uh, me didn't do anything, but maybe for you guys, you're going to see a huge improvement in certain game. So if you are willing to do it, uh, please let me know uh, in the comment below. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all for this video. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to put a thumb up. And also, I want to thank all the supporters of this channel. Uh, through uh, the YouTube membership and also the Patreon membership. You guys are the best of the best. You are la crème de la crème. Thank you very much for your support and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.